developing tonight at 11, an attempted abduction in Muskegon County. Police say a woman was walking on West River Road just north of Muskegon when a driver stopped and picked her up. She told police the man would not let her go, forcing her to escape out of his van while it was moving. And the description of that van has some wondering about a possible connection to the Jessica Herringa abduction case nearby. 24-Hour News 8's Barton Dieters has our story from Muskegon County tonight. Leon, the Muskegon County Sheriff's Office says a 16-year-old girl was walking home from a friend's house when she got lost in this rural part of Muskegon County near West River Drive and Green Creek Roads. She says that an overweight white male in his 30s or 40s pulled up beside her and told her she could use his cell phone. As vehicles were blocked behind the van, the man pulled onto Green Creek Road. He then allegedly told her that his phone was not working, locked the doors, and she believes he reached for a handgun in the compartment near the seat. She says she jumped out of the slowly moving vehicle and then ran to the nearest house as the van drove away. Sheriff Dean Rosler told me the girl sustained some scrapes and bruises as a result of jumping out of the van, but is otherwise okay. Neighbors we talked to in the immediate area were unaware of any suspicious activity this morning. Rosler says the incident is concerning because of the potential that a gun may have been used in the alleged attempted abduction. The white or silver minivan also conjures the image of the white or silver minivan seen in video footage from the disappearance three years ago this month of Jessica Herringa, the 25-year-old who went missing in nearby Norton Shores. Other than the fact that the, the uh, color is somewhat similar and, uh, you know, uh, a young female being potentially targeted, we certainly want to keep an open mind about that. But do we have anything to say, yes, these are directly connected? No, we, we don't have that. The sheriff said the investigation is continuing and that no suspect has been found yet. The sheriff says that the man involved here could just come into the sheriff's department and clear up what may just be a big misunderstanding. He also asked anyone with any information about this to call the Muskegon County Sheriff's Department or Silent Observer. Both those numbers are on woodtv.com. In Muskegon County, Barton Dieters, 24-Hour News 8.